Alright guys, welcome back to the next video. Today I'm in the Balfresta room. I'm going to go all the way down below. That's where the location of our emergency fire pump is. Uh, the reason I'm going down there, I'm going to test the fire pump. We'll make sure it's lined up and we'll do a periodic test just to assure that everything's working properly. In the event that we actually need the pump, you want to make sure that it's all good to go. And I'll show you guys the bow thruster. And there's a lot of vertical ladders to get down. It's quite a ways down. So let's go take a look. Okay, so this is obviously located all the way forward on the vessel. That's the bow thruster. And there's the vertical ladders. Uh, above this one, there was like two or three more that have already came down. So the next uh, one right there, you'll see. And then I'll just continue all the way down. And this is the top of the actual bow thruster. And right there, not too far from me, you can see the emergency fire pump. So let's go down there and we'll take a look at it closer. Okay, here's another look at it. I'm one level up now. Another shot of the fire pump there. So we got one more level to go. Okay, so here we are. Now if you look down here, on any ship, there's always a bilge up here in the bow thruster room. And if there are any leaks, water does leak for any reason, you'll have that water go into the bilge, at which point when it gets a little level, you'll have an alarm, so it'll be very easy to know that there's water leaking pretty early on. So here you go. Here's, Here's the, the suction valve here, guys. At which point it goes into a strainer at the suction side of the pump just to filter anything, so you don't want to get that stuck in the pump impeller, which is down here. And here's the motor end. And this is your discharge valve right here. And it goes on up to the main. So yes, uh, these valves are always kept open. You want to keep these open, why? Because if you need to start this pump in a real emergency, remotely, you need everything lined up and ready to go. So you don't have time to run all the way up here, down here, in a real event if you needed this pump. And there it goes, it discharges right up there. So we're gonna get a, uh, a start right here. Let it build a little pressure and then we'll just shut it off. All right, so I've double checked the valves just to assure that they are open. So we're gonna start the pump up. All right guys, so what we did, we let it build up to the pressure. It takes a little bit of time, it's been a couple minutes now. And I've shut the pump off like they were, like they're supposed to be, we'll leave the valves uh, open position. So everything looks good today. Everything tested out just fine. No problems, no leaks. So here's another little quick look here at the valve thruster. And I don't know if you can see, it's a little dark down here. Uh, let me try to show with my flashlight. You can see like the shape here. That's like where the propeller would be inside, thrusting the water out. And it would be the same on the other side if you need to thrust that way, port or starboard. So we'll just take a look up here. That's how you get back out. And there's a couple decks more above the overhead there. One more ladder to go. Done my cardio workout for the day. We're almost out. Okay guys, so we're out, and we'll shut this hatch down, and there's five dogs that hold this down, and that'll secure it. Alright guys, the hatch is all buttoned up, that's going to do it for this video, it's coffee time. I got done just at the perfect time, so I'm going to walk back up and take my coffee break. And if you guys enjoyed this video, as always, give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe because we'll be back with more videos real soon. And before I leave, I'll let you guys look at the ocean just for a few moments and see you on the next one.